Hello and welcome back to the Irish Poet. For those of you who are just joining us, we are joined today by poet Ireland Steele, who is here today to read the poem entitled The Synchronized Swimming Poem. I am now very proud to bring you Ireland Steele. If you like it in the water, and your confidence is a brimmin, then come on down and join us. Take up synchronized swimming, because you're dancing underwater every day. Oh yes, you're dancing underwater in every way. And when you're dancing in the water, it feels like a dream as you dance atop the water with the synchronized swim team. You can glide like a swan, or you can fly like a bird, as long as you stay with the rest of the herd, because you've got to understand that in order to be there, you've got to show potential, poise, even flair. So come on down and join us. It's cheap at just two mil, and I can guarantee it will give you quite a thrill to join our dance in perfect time. Every person in perfect rhyme. And if you only want to watch, I'm quite sure that you'll see that the best Irish swimmer is most definitely me. And before I'm done, there's one more thing left to say. In regards to our t-shirt, some of you forgot to pay. So I'd appreciate it if you paid. For you see, the dolphin you're wearing, which represents our team, bravery, skill, and daring. So this is Ireland Steel, saying bye as my lights are dimming. And don't forget to come down and join us for some synchronized swimming. Ireland Steel, April the 8th, 2003, Fulvania, Ohio, the US of R. Thank you very much, Mr. Steele, for that moving and general, genuinely incredible performance. Would you, would you like to discuss some of the key elements of the poem with me? I would be honored. Let us first draw our attention to the idea of the swimming not just being individual swimming, but synchronized. Do you pick up on the theme of synchronicity throughout the poem? I was feeling it from my bones, through my muscles, even to my skin and my ears especially, where I was listening to it. Oh, thank you. A craftsman is always happy that his work is appreciated. Also, if I can direct your attention to my use of animals, gliding like a swan, flying like a bird, I think this is a perfect, perfect representation of what I'm trying to say. I felt the exact same way. When I heard those references to those animals, I could really picture in my brain, and especially in my stomach, what was really going through the minds of the synchronized swimmers. If there was just one problem or misstep, then it would be over. Much like animals and their trouble with the food chain, that if they misstep once, they were likely to be eaten by a bear or possibly an otter. That is excellent, excellent, exactly what I was going for. And you like how I didn't make it seem like synchronized swimming is easy. I give the credentials, poise, flair, potential. These are all things that you all have to have in order to be a good synchronized swimmer. Absolutely. I was also quite fond of your rhyme scheme, how it was more chaotic than most. In fact, 
it could be said that you placed emphasis on different points to show the chaos in the waters that could be troublesome for any synchronized swimmer. However, that chaos is still so synchronized. Yes, the rhyme scheme may vary. Yes, it may indeed show the chaos in that water. However, there is still that aspect of synchronicity throughout. Thank you. Well, I believe that's all the time we have. Would you like to leave us with some parting words? Uh, yes, I would love to. As regards to the t-shirts, I want you all to pay up. <laughs>